And it's so great, especially on this huge day for women's sports to have NWSL Commissioner Jessica Berman with us. It's been such an exciting season so far, in part because of some of the scenes that we just saw there. The KC Current opening the first ever stadium built specifically for a women's pro team. How huge has that been in launching this, your 12th season? It's been incredible and I think opening CPKC Stadium with the season opener was a historic moment for us to actually feel the difference of the physical infrastructure investment in brick and mortar in today's world we live in a digital society it just feels so permanent it felt like a real significant moment to really recognize that what is happening in women's sports is not just a moment but it is a movement and is building it for the future we saw Patrick Mahomes there and he and his wife Brittany are invested in the team and much like Angel City you have this sort of celebrity factor reaching out across the world and embracing your league. How important is that to bringing new people into the game? Well, I think it just punctuates the cultural relevance that we see around women's soccer. And in particular, it isn't just that there are these celebrities who are interested in investing in the NWSL, but they have an authentic connection. Take Patrick Mahomes, for example. His wife, Brittany, was an incredible college soccer player. And that really makes the investment feel different because we aren't the only league that has celebrities and athletes investing in them. But for us, it really does feel authentic and genuine. And they show up at the games and they're watching and they're cheering and they're loving it and I think that's why you're seeing it transcend the fan experience yeah and however you can get the word out is a positive way um, we had something incredible happen last week Sophia Smith who's such a transcendent player at 23 years old the youngest MVP in league history she also became the highest paid at two million plus annually how significant was that well, I think it's the continuation of what we've seen over the last couple of years, which is a recognition, frankly, by our ownership group that we have to invest in these athletes. We have to invest in them from a competition perspective, but also the training environment, the playing environment. It needs to be leveled up. If we want these athletes to perform at the highest possible level, and we are the best league in the world, then we need to create the environment for that to be true. And Sophia Smith is just the latest example of that. But actually, this season, I think it's the fourth time that the record has been broken for the highest paid player in our league all in the last three to four weeks. And so we're continuing to see the growth of the league translate to the investment in our players. Yes, yeah, so many people are investing not only in individual players, but in franchises. You expanded this year among the expansion teams. Uh, Bay Area FC, I guess it was an incredible scene in San Jose. And we know from having Santa Clara and Stanford in the area, that is a real hotbed for women's sports. What's the scene been like with that newest team? Well, watching them build end to end was one of those incredible, unforgettable experience of my career. I was there with them in the first meeting when the founding four, which is Ali Wagner, Brandi Chastain, Leslie Osborne, Danielle Slayton, who are really the backbone of this franchise, actually created a vision that came to life. And I was there in person this past Saturday. It was sold out. There were 18,000 people there cheering, watching the four of them on the pitch lead the club and the fans in their first ever Bay FC chant was one of those moments that gave me chills. And the fans were so into it, so excited. Cheryl Sandberg was there, another celeb um, who's also an investor in the team. And there's just an incredible amount of excitement in the community there. Everyone was talking about it. When you hear taxi drivers and bartenders and waiters talking about your women's team in your community, you just feel the sense of pride from them. It's so amazing how this league has moved on from such a dark period of emotional abuse, sexual misconduct, these things, these horrible headlines that preceded your tenure. And I'm wondering what you think is the most important factor in helping this league really turn the corner and thrive to the point where now it's such a, a positive beacon for women's sports. Well, I think there were really two primary things I could point to. The first is that the starting point, and actually this continues, that we listen to the players. We had to really understand and recognize what their experience had been in order to meet them where they are and then figure out what the solutions are to be able to build the future league that they had dreamed we could be. And then the second component, which is to make sure we put the systems in place that the players knew had their fingerprints on it and was built to trust. 
And that is something that is not a one and done. That is a forever journey that we will always be rooted in the history of this league and make sure that we always remember that it isn't just the NWSL. All ecosystems that are built for women have some of the remnants of the societal impact of sexism. Mm -hmm. And if we don't remember that, even in the moments of success, then we could become complacent. And so from our perspective, it's always a priority. And we're staying true to that. And the commitment that we made to players was that we were going to solve it for the future and that we would continue to remain committed to building a league that they would be proud to play in. Beautifully said. Don't forget, uh, but do everything you can to rectify that. And on such a great day in women's sports, I know you have to head home because your 13-year-old son told you you have to be home for the basketball game tonight, right? Amazingly. Last How about night, that? be home. We're having a game watch party. <laughs> I love it. Rising tide definitely lifts all boats in it women's does. sports. Uh, Jessica Berman, commissioner of the NWSL. Really looking forward to the rest of the season. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.